Hello there. This is a little different than talking about Nerf. Uh, I also, as part of my midlife hobby crisis, uh, am very into one wheeling. Uh, I've been looking at some ways to attach some Nerf to my one wheel, but that's a whole separate thing. Uh, I got some aftermarket rails for my one wheel. They're called WTF rails. Uh, wow, they're fast uh, from the float life. Uh, I've been wanting to open these up for a bit. I'm going to open them up today, install them on my board, uh, and go for a bit of a ride to check them out tonight. The whole point of these rails is to uh, <laughs> help you go a little bit faster, uh, and they're supposed to provide a lot more stability and clearance, and with the same clearance on trails. So uh, I mostly trail ride. Uh, I have about 1,500 kilometers on, so I'm not a... Uh, not a super advanced rider by any means. Uh, I can add the viewpoint of being a heavier rider. It uh, feels like a lot of one-wheelers are a lot lighter than me, so that might be interesting to some riders who are a little bit on the heavier side to see how these rails feel and work uh, for you. So yeah, I'm gonna open this up and check it out. I'm very excited. I've been just kind of saving it until I had to We have a sticker. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, beer cozy. Ooh, a shiny float life sticker. I like that. We have, oh, we have a bunch of stickers. Oh, this is super cool. Uh, Eevees. Eevees and a cool lightning bolt. I like that. Whoa. More stickers. I need to put a fender back on my one wheel at some point so I have somewhere to put all these stickers. Uh, another cool float lift sticker. Another shiny one. A float on my friends. Hi, a bear. And a... I like that color blue. That might go on. I don't usually put stickers on my laptops and stuff, but I might in this case. All right, awesome. Uh, let's get into this. Let's see. This is... Oh, yes. Uh, another sticker. <laughs> wow, a Rick, and, <laughs> a Rick and Morty sticker. I'll do some close ups of these stickers after. Uh, they have supplied an entire sticker collection in here, which I really like. Uh, I was also drawn in by the uh, limited edition gold rails. I have a little bit of. A few gold accents on my one wheel. Uh, these are super nice. Wow. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see where the, with the, with the angle here, it kind of lowers down. The foot pads will be here. So it kind of gives you, uh, compared to the level, the level deck, uh, it gives you, a, you're a little bit lower. Uh, things kick back up at the end though, so clearance is supposed to be around the same, I think. Um, there's some custom settings uh, so that you're not uh, you're not riding with your nose uh, on the ground. So I'm going to try out some custom settings for sure. Um, I always have to be careful about riding through pushback or being too aggressive. I like to give the board a little bit of extra energy for me. Again, being a bit of a heavier rider, I don't tend to push it. My fastest speed is uh, 27 kilometers an hour uh, on one wheel or a little bit more. And that's that's fine for me, especially on, on some of the trails that I've been on. Uh, what was more interesting to me about this than the speed part, honestly, was the um, was that stability, feeling a little bit more locked in because of the angle up. Uh, so I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. It's more that lower center of gravity. Uh, that I was interested in. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna mount these on my board. Uh, again, uh, so just to show, uh, here's my one wheel. Uh, I have that uh, craft and ride handle in gold, which I like. Uh, I have some white uh, rail guards on here. No rail guards for these, so uh, I'll just be trying not to flip it over constantly. So you know, you can kind of see what I mean here about how it's definitely gonna change the look and angle of the board, and I'm super excited to check it out all right let's get this apart
I got them on. That was not super fun. Uh, and I made a lot of mistakes. The tolerances were a little tight, uh, but I can't wait to take it in later and see how it rides. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward my assembly by a lot. Thanks. These are really, really, really fun, these rails. Uh, playing around with them more and more, it feels super stable. Uh, still playing around with the custom settings a little bit, but they are pretty fun. And I definitely agree with that whole, you'll have a very locked in feel. Uh, Cause going over like little bumps and nudges is, uh, you just feel way more steady. So pretty fun. Anyway, that's uh, my very unprofessional review. Don't uh, don't one wheel in video.